Well, have you ever wondered why when you go to Kitco or one of the other sites that gives you quotes for precious metals that you can never buy for those prices? Reason is, that is the price of a manipulated market. JP Morgan, HSBC, and the other big banks that are shorting silver, they make more money off manipulating the market to keep the price down than they would if they went long and let the market have its free reign. Because if they'd let it have its free reign, people would want to take physical delivery. And they cannot give physical delivery simply because they don't actually have the metal. So if they keep the prices down, people won't want to take physical delivery and they don't have to worry about getting busted. But if you want to see the free market prices, the actual prices people are paying, then you need to go to eBay and look up their generic rounds, silver eagles, whatever. If you would notice here recently, with the recent spikes in the metals, that the generic rounds, just your private mint stuff, is bringing higher premiums than even your silver eagles. Even I sold a couple pieces on there recently just to test out the market and I got a higher price for my generic stuff than I seen for other people getting for even their silver eagles so I just wanted to say that go to eBay will give you the free market price what people are willing to pay you can look at Kitco that would give you an idea of what you could possibly get if you went to sell to a dealer or to one of the other big uh, silver buyers online but I would not advise selling to those people. They just want to rip you off. They won't give you nowhere near what it's worth. I mean, I called a few places in my local uh, newspaper. And they wanted to give me, you know, a dollar under spot, two dollars under spot. And if you have any of the 90% silver you want to sell, some were even given lower prices than that. You go to eBay, you can get sometimes 13, 14 times face, maybe a little more depending on the condition. But I called, like I said, a few places in the newspaper, and they wanted to give me 11 times face. I think the best offer I got was 11.8 times face. That's crazy. So if you want to sell anything, it's best to go to eBay. Just even after you pay their fees and everything, you'll still come out getting close to spot price. You might even get a little over spot. But with the pieces I sold, I got about spot price for it. Now, if you've just recently bought your metals, then no, and you want to turn around and sell it, then no, you're not going to get, you know, very much of a premium. You may not even make anything. But if you bought metals back at $11, $12, $13 dollars an ounce, and you want to turn around and sell, then you might make a few dollars. Personally, I would suggest holding out and just waiting on the higher prices that we all know are coming. The only reason, like I said, that I sold, I just wanted to test the free market out and see how it went. I seen Silver Eagles on there selling for $21, $22. That was with shipping and all. I sold some generic uh, bars and rounds from some of your private mints, and I got $21, $22 a piece, and that was before my shipping charge. So... It just goes to show you that the free market is a lot better than what these dealers are willing to pay. Even after you pay your fees on eBay and everything, I still got close to spot price. Maybe a few cents over, but I got about spot. So if you ever want to sell anything, it's best to go to eBay, especially with your 90% silver, which I would advise keeping for in case of economic collapse. But if you've got what you feel is enough and have some extra, then go ahead and sell somewhere. You can even go to some forums. I went to a forum when it's called uh, bullionstacker.com. I'll put a link down in the description box. But uh, I traded uh, two rows of uh, silver quarters, just average circulated. Some of them look pretty nice, most just average circulated. And I ended up with uh, two one gram gold bars, 0.999 fine, and a 10th ounce gold American Eagle. And it was set in a 14 karat bezel. I should get it in the mail today. As soon as I receive it, I'll make another video and show you what all it looks like. But uh, back to the topic. You will never be able to buy your metals at spot price. I've never seen anywhere online or even a dealer anywhere where you can walk in or go to their website or what have you. And say, if silver is $18 an ounce and try to buy it for $18, you will not be able to do it. There's always a premium tacked onto it. 
A lot of places are a dollar and a half to two dollars over spot that I've dealt with. Some are a little higher than that. So if you want some decent deals, you can either shop around on eBay or buy online. So I would just not advise, like I said before, for you to sell anything to any of those people that are in the newspaper or them cash for gold or cash for silver or any people like that. Or just a rip off. So if you want to sell anything, go to eBay. And if you want to buy anything, find some of your uh, dealers online. I've got some pretty good deals from them, like Quality Silver Boy, and I'll put a link to them in the description bar as well. They're about the fairest price when it comes to the metals. You'll always have a premium to pay. You just want to look for the lowest premium possible. So you need to shop around. It all depends on what you want to spend. The more quantity you can buy, sometimes the better deal you get. But I still advise buying the small weights, especially when it comes to gold. I mean, silver too, yes, but gold especially for a few reasons. One is, a lot of people can't afford the large pieces. So when you go to resell, you may have a hard time finding a buyer, even on eBay, for the one ounce pieces or some of your larger bars. So buy the small weights. You'll get a little more premium out of them when you go to sell. Yes, you'll have to pay a higher premium, but you'll get that back when you go to sell. And on the other hand, a lot of these small weights are becoming quite popular. So you can go to a lot of different websites. I'll post some links in the description bar of some of the sites. You can check them out for yourself that have been out of the one tenth ounce gold eagles and even some of their other sizes, even up to some of the one ounce sizes. People are getting into a rush and they want to buy all the physical that they can so they're just buying whatever they can get a hold of so I advise buying small weights they're easier to sell and they're becoming a lot more popular and they're in a lot higher demand so just buy your small weights silver too because when the price of silver skyrockets which we all know is going to happen they'll be a lot easier to sell because people won't be able to afford you know maybe thirty forty dollars an ounce I'm not saying the price is going to definitely get there but it's very possible in the future so just buy your small weights and just and the main thing is buy what you like if you like the silver eagles then by all means buy them I'm not going to tell you what to buy what not to buy I'll just give you my opinions on what I think that you should buy for what may happen in the future and the reason that silver is going down today, that I believe, is because of the industry. Yes, silver is a precious metal, but unlike gold where people run to it as a safe haven, silver is used a lot in the industry. And if the industry is not producing as much products, then they're not going to need as much silver, and that will drive the price down. That is also the reason why you've seen a lot more come on the market as far as the investment side of it. The larger companies have liquidated a lot of their thousand ounce bars to the private mints. That way you can they can make rounds, bars, whatever, and uh, sell it to the investment side of it. So when the industry picks back up, you will see the investment side almost go away. I remember back in 2008, you go to some of the more popular uh, websites that sell precious metals, and you may have to wait all day to find maybe one or two 10 ounce bars and at the time silver I think was about fourteen fifty, maybe fifteen dollars an ounce and uh, you go to eBay people were selling them for upwards of twenty twenty two dollars an ounce and there was even a lot of people on there doing a pre-sale which is they would go to the websites buy the silver fifteen fifteen and a half an ounce time you paid your premium and then turn right back around and sell it on eBay for $20, $21 an ounce. That's even before they've even received the bar in their hand. So you would have to wait on them to get the bar, and then they would ship it to you. So I would not advise buying anything on a pre-sale just in case the person didn't receive their product for one reason or another. Then you would have a hassle trying to get your money back, or you may have long waits or whatever. So in closing, I'm just going to say, buy your small weights and buy on the pullbacks but the main thing is buy anytime you've got the money if you've got the money and you're afraid you'll spend it on other things go ahead and buy your metals 
but buy your small weights that's the main thing that way when the price does skyrocket you'll be able to get rid of them a whole lot easier thank you